Hey everybody, in this video, I'm going to unbox this. This is going to be the next truck in the fleet. You want to see how I build it? Make sure you stay tuned. Hey everybody and welcome back. So today I'm going to unbox this. Uh, this is going to be the next build that I do for my BSC fleet. Now I am going to be looking at putting in LED system for the lights and everything else. Um, I'm looking at detailing this thing pretty good. And I'm also thinking and looking at different designs for the boom and possible stinger. So I'm gonna get this box out of the way and uh, I'll be right back and we'll show you what's in it. Okay, so here we have the instructions and it's pretty much your typical instructions, especially for AMT. You know, wheels, frame, engine, differentials, you know, all the chassis, stuff like that. Uh, your typical interior, you know, it's got a nice, uh, it does have some, uh, what do you call it, instructional pointers and information about like Peterbilt and stuff like that, uh, kind of things like, where is it, right here, no, not that one, right here, paint, uh, paint and tire assembly, engine white, leaves chrome parts for custom look. Note, Peterbilt ordered its engines painted white for a clean look. Yeah, so that's kind of cool about, you know, little information, stuff like that. But yeah, it's basically, you know, and then you have the, uh, the, uh, the bed for the wrecker section of it, you know. So, yeah. Pretty much normal for that, you know, if you've done one big rig, you've done them all, really. So I haven't opened the bags yet, but uh, some of this stuff I'm just going to leave in the... Screw it, I'm opening them. Okay, right, so, obviously we got the chrome, it's AMT stuff. Now this stuff here, like the mirror pieces, uh, they're a lot better than the, uh, the auto car mirror arms were. So, right off the bat, that's going to be a little better. But, uh, a lot of this is probably going to get redone anyways. So, we've got stuff here. we got, looks like, who knows what half of this stuff is. Looks like box rails, light racks for the roof, you know, your hooks. Looks like pulley wheels. Again, some of this stuff's going to get changed out, so... Are possibly going to get changed out because I am looking at maybe upgrading uh, the boom section of it. So uh, here we've got you know your steps. Looks like maybe a chrome air filter or something. Your horns, lights. You get all your rims. You know inners and outers, and uh, they're two-piece rims. So you got this little ring that you got to glue onto the front. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it all chrome or what, but yeah, that's that. Okay, I'm going to keep this in here, but this here is your, uh, your glass back window from the looks of it. Uh, some lights and of course your clear, or, uh, clear orange and clear red lights. All right, so I'm going to leave that in there. Here we've got the cab and looks like the hood. Part of the hood, anyways. So, nice nice rivet detail. I'll see if I can pick that up for you. Yeah, you can kind of see the rivets right there. There you go. Nice rivet detail on there. You can feel them. They're nice and pronounced all the way around. White is a bitch to film. But yeah, nice rivet detail. Door handles, hinges. Wipers aren't on this one. They're actually on the chrome. Here we've got uh, some more rivet detail. Peterbilt emblem in there. 
You get the typical Peterbilt rib on the top of the hood here. You know, so that's all looking pretty good. Give me a second, I'm going to get some more out. Okay, so up next, we have a whole bunch of tires, right? Here's a dually, so, yep, yeah, got enough of those. But they are the same. If I can get them to focus in here for you. They're the same tires that the uh, trailer that I built has. <clears throat> same pad printed. Same tire size, everything. One side's pad printed, the other side has nothing. So that's kind of cool. It's, you know, these tires are the same as uh, the trailers. Now, something I haven't noticed yet either is that uh, there's none of this uh, rubber hosing that came with uh, the bulldozer and uh, the trailer. You know, I haven't seen any of that yet, So, but it could be somewhere in the packages. Now, for this big package here, kind of a loose thing, and uh, just a quick little common sense tip, always check the bags for any loose or falling off parts. You don't want to be throwing something away that uh, you're going to need, right? And see, obviously, there's the turbo, part of the turbo. So here on this tree, we got fuel tanks, right? Looks like all the airbags, um, maybe the brake pods right here, uh, backing plates, uh, some of the air tanks. That's all a bunch of suspension. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of suspension, but that's where your airbags would go. That's probably on the uh, the axle part. Looks like um, uh, those torsion bars, or not torsion bars, but uh, they keep the axle centered. Can't think of the freaking name. Uh, but you know what I'm talking about. This is kind of a really janky freaking thing here. Here's one of the brake drums that have fallen off. Ooh, like, look at the way this they got this here. So, anyways. We got, uh, looks like rear axles here. Front axle. A bunch of shocks. I'm not sure. CB radio. Looks like maybe door handles right there. You got the rest of your brake drums and your center axle centers. Looks like your seats and steering wheel right here. This is all engine stuff. And looking through this, sorry, looking through this here, it's uh, almost identical to the engine that's in the auto car. And I'd have to check. It might even be pretty close to the one that's in the bulldozer as well. Uh, AMT seems to be really liking this engine. But, oh well. And you get your fuel filters, you know, oil pan, you know, your typical stuff. Your seats, nothing major for texture of seats, but they almost look the same as the, the auto car ones. But this one's a little narrower. Uh, this one's the back, so yeah, it's a little different. Anyway, so that's that stuff. So I'm going to put that in the box. Don't forget the little pieces. So in this one here, we have the record deck. Now on the picture, it looks like this is a lot longer. You know, I guess it's not. There's your the front piece, I'm assuming. Uh, the tail piece. All right. Uh, your boom uh, boom support. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, yeah, there's your what they call what they use as a stinger now. Uh, there's your boom, probably extension boom that goes inside uh, the deck. Nice texture on the deck for the uh, checker plating. I don't know if you can see that right there, maybe you can kind of see the checker plating in that. Oh shit. And then we got the other side here. Uh, a couple of small doors. Uh, nothing major. There's a small one on the other one. Um, spare tire. Plastic, obviously. Two piece. Well, that's what those are. It's a 45 gallon drum because this comes with some accessories. Uh, looks like uh, battery, maybe. CB handle. Some flags. Some more hooks. Toolbox. Broom. You know. Clean up after your mess, right? So I'm gonna keep this stuff in this one. 
just so that I know that this is all record deck and that. Okay, so in here, smaller bag and loose part, right? Keep an eye open. Yeah, we got some coloring, just like uh, color, just what do you call it? Yeah, yeah. It got too hot. Man, my brain ain't working worth a damn. Anyway, so we got a bunch of cross members here. Looks like uh, front suspension, maybe. And a bunch of drive shafts, radiator hoses, things like that. Uh, hood hinges. But yeah, uh, some discoloration here for the injector molds, I guess. They got a little too warm. It shouldn't be too bad once you clean that up and paint everything. Flash isn't too bad. It is an AMT kit, but, you know, there is some to be expected. I think this kit was, like, first released, like, way out in, what, 79 or something like that. Let me know if I'm wrong, but, yeah, I think that's when this kit was first released. Uh, you got your jack, fuel cans, things like that. Some more extra parts. On here, we got, uh, I'm not sure, air tank, or not air tanks, but, uh, your rams and stuff, some of the rams, or maybe the uh, the drums for the cable. All right, so I'm gonna put that in the box. One more bag here. Yeah, see, we got some more discoloration on here. We got discoloration on the dash. Got nice detail on the dash. Dash top, two front fenders which are quite yellowed. All right. Same thing here. We got some exhaust pipes. Uh, looks like a dual air, dual air intake, or maybe that's the uh, the exhaust crossover. Goes underneath and then splits for a dual stack. I'm not sure what this truck has if it's got dual stacks or not. Uh, actually, yeah, it does. What am I saying? I saw the chrome. Oh, see, brain not working. Anyways, so yeah, that's that. Interior tub. Uh, decent door panel detail let's see if you can see that you can kind of see the detail in there maybe if I can get a little better light on it or something here I don't want to completely focus on it but you can kind of see the detail but a little bit of texture on the floor frame rails seem not too bad a little flimsy so Really take your time and uh, get these square and straight. And a lot of flash to clean up on them. Not too bad for detail. Really raised pin marks or whatever they call them. You know, not so much the ejector pins because they're all raised. You know, maybe that's where it's kind of cut off or whatever. You know, so yeah, that'll need some serious cleaning. Here we've got uh, more of the steps and batteries interior seat radiator pretty cheap radiator i'll probably be doing something with that fan shroud visor i'm not sure that might be one that goes on the roof you know just to aerodynamics kind of thing so yeah that's that and uh here in a second i'll put this away and then uh, we can finish up okay now that i'm sitting back down because i had to have the camera so freaking high up just to be able to uh you know get a half of this stuff into screen here's the decals so the decals aren't bad nice and clean crisp obviously I'm not gonna be using a bunch of this I'm gonna be putting on my own company logo you know we got some uh, some license plates here that's something I got to do is design some of my own Canadian license plates I know I can buy them but why not make them right it's cheaper uh, probably won't be using any of this pinstriping we'll see now uh, it's kind of the wrong color right so and uh, sorry guys i'm not putting the us on this is a canadian channel and canadian company but uh yeah we got a bunch of these peterbilt emblems and stuff they might go on the truck somewhere yeah this one says hood emblems you know things like that yeah so anyways yeah so that's the uh that's that so if you uh like this video uh, I'm going to be obviously building the truck, so make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button so you don't miss out on this video or any of the other videos that I'm doing. If you don't mind, share the video, help promote this channel, get it out there, get them 
get my name known. Also, give me a follow on my Instagram and my Facebook group. Links for them are down in the description. Please leave your comments and thoughts down in the comments section. Love reading them all. Love hearing them all. Definitely a big thank you to every subscriber that is subscribed right now. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And welcome to all my new subscribers, my old subscribers. Also, if you ever want to help out the channel, I do have a link down in the description for a PayPal me. More than welcome to do so. I'll put your name in the credits and stuff like that. So with all that being said, thank you very much for joining me. And no matter what you build, just do it your way. And until next time, later.